Hello and welcome back to another yellow case tutorial and once again we're going to be looking at iTunes and on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to remove duplicate songs from your music library. I'll make sure you have iTunes launched and because we're looking for duplicate songs we're going to want to select our music library which is our first option and from the menu bar select file display duplicates and right away it's going to show you a list of all the songs that you have duplicates and sometimes triples and quadruples depending on how obsessed with music you are and if you don't see them listed like I do that being the songs listed by name make sure that you have the name column selected notice that I'm clicking on it up here and it'll reverse alphabetical order as I select it. So if you have albums selected, for example, you may not notice that your songs are duplicates because they're not side by side uh, listed by name. So I'm going to select name. Now, automatically you'll see, or you'll, you should notice pretty quickly, that some of these songs are duplicates. For example, the You're Crazy song here is a, uh, three of those. And if you look down the list, I have three of a lot of these songs, so I might want to get rid of some of these. Now, if you look closely, this song, Your Love, from The Outfield, one of my favorite songs, I'm going to double click on that one. That's a great song. Now, you'll notice that this song, which is from The Outfield, both of these are from The Outfield, but they're from different albums. One was from their Super Hits album and one is from the Adventureland original soundtrack movie. So I may want to delete one of these, obviously not both of them, uh, but in my case I want to keep them both because I want to keep the album Adventureland complete. I don't want to delete them both for whatever reason. However, if I scroll down here, I'm going to find one, for example this Nelly Furtado song, the song Try is also duplicate, but it is from the exact same album, so I can definitely get rid of one of those and save some hard drive space. Simply select it, go to the top of your screen, on the menu bar select Edit, and then select Delete. And it's going to ask if you want to remove this song from your iTunes library. Now, at this point, it's only asking us if we want to remove the song from the list, meaning it will not show up in iTunes anymore. If I hit Remove, It'll then ask me if I want to keep the file on the computer, meaning it will not delete it, or if I want to move to trash, thereby deleting it, or at least I, if I empty the trash, I'll end up deleting it. Notice that keep file is blue, and anytime you see a button pulsating like this in blue in a Mac, that means that this is the recommended or safe option, which also means that if I hit enter or return on my keyboard, that's what will be selected. So I'm going to select Move to Trash because I actually want to delete this one. I have a duplicate of it. I do not need two of them, so off to the trash it goes. If I go to the trash on the bottom of my screen, in the dock, on the right side, I'm going to select Trash, and you'll notice that song is now in the trash. So I can empty my trash at any point, delete that permanently. So there you go. That's how you'll go through all of these duplicates, and you'll notice at the very bottom of my screen I have a status bar that says displaying duplicates. If you want to display all of your songs, meaning going back to your default view of iTunes and all your music, click on display all down here or go to the top of your screen in the menu bar where you once selected dis display duplicates you will now find display all. And that's it. That's how you look for duplicates to delete them in iTunes.